Salutare tuturor, my name is Elena and this is Elena the Expat, a vlog in which I talk about the expat lifestyle and slow travel. I was born and raised in Moldova and this episode we will be covering the most important Moldovan holiday. Now, the Irish have St. Patrick's Day and the Germans have the Oktoberfest and we Moldovans have the national holiday of wine. when I was living in Moldova, I wasn't really a goer uh, for the holiday of wine. Uh, but once I started working in the wine industry, which is another story altogether, I organized for my winery the, the holiday among many other people, and it was such a stressful time. So I'm hoping that this time I'm actually able to fully enjoy the wine and the atmosphere of the holiday. We're coming closer and closer to the main square in Chisinau and I'm starting to see some stands. So here we go! We are here, uh, one crosswalk away from the whole hustle and bustle. There are so many people here. We have to figure out what's the deal. Oof. It is so hot here. It's like a summer day and there are so many people. Regardless, we got our wine glasses. This is a reusable wine glass and you go to each winery and you taste. And for 200 lei you get the glass and you have this um, notebook of the wine taster. You have the opportunity to taste 12 wines so you don't get drunk. I understood that this year they really wanted to make the consumption of wine very conscious because we Moldovans sometimes can get overboard with things we are passionate about. So many choices, so little time and only 13 wine tasting. What should we get? What should we get? Right in the center of Piazza Maria Internazionale is this arch. And I love how the architecture complements all the other stands here. Um, so we are entering the territory of bigger wineries. You can see by the stand they have more resources, uh, more money, and also a bigger selection of wines. I'm wondering whether I should spend my uh, 12 tasting points for one of these bigger wineries which I'm sure to taste, uh, you know, uh, in a restaurant or should I go for the smaller, more unknown wineries? Our first wine for the day from Pineria din Valle, waiting for a pour. Okay. It's good. It's a little bit warm. This is a type of grapes that grows only in Moldova. If I'm gonna have 11 more, I don't think I'll be able to film or do or talk. There are so many wineries, some of them I've never heard about. We will definitely need some help in choosing where we go and what we skip. If you would have to recommend something, obviously not Gitana Winery, like top three bigs. To strongly recommend uh, Atu Winery, which is the only urban winery, which oh, is wow. just uh, next from Chisinau on the way to the airport. Gogu Winery, which Gogu is winery. a winery in Kaushen, and it's a family business and uh, they really, I, I like the way they are investing in their kind of quality. Kazayak, uh, because this year they took the gold medal for their white wine. Oh wow. Yes, and it's really, uh, really special. Sorry, I cannot get uh, fit into three, I would better uh, also uh, mention Karayanivin. Uh, which is in the south, Gagauzia. Yeah. It's also family business and uh, their Cabernet and their Chotra is just great. I just met a friend who is the founder of Podgoria Vin and she gave me this amazing wine. I'm so excited. Actually, a lot of Moldovans are working in the wine industry. Oricât de dificil nu ar fi, pentru că timpurile sunt diferite și respectiv rezultatele sunt diferite, însă noi lucrăm din plăcere pentru că lucrăm cu dragă familie. Toate produsele le facem cu multă dragoste. Iată, nu, nu este neapărat că este vinul nostru care îl producem noi, însă este un vin, un soi, un soi uh, autohton, 
În spate are o poveste de dragoste foarte frumoasă, anume de unde a apărut denumirea de Viorica. Adică un profesor era foarte îndrăgostit de studenta lui și respectiv i-a făcut un soi special pentru ea ca să-i atragă atenție. But I, I think it's a, a definitely a very interesting job, but it's also very challenging. You are required to work basically 24-7, uh, seven days a week, especially if you're having a small winery. And this is an amazing small wine producer. There are so many temptations here. <laughs> Delicious. What does it, the holiday of wine mean personally for you? Uh, for me, it's a great celebration because uh, it's a possibility for many people to knew our wine, wine and knew uh, about Moldova. Have you met many foreigners today? Uh, yes, uh, there, there are foreigners, but not so many. Ah. <laughs> I don't think this is many. Hey, foreigners, come to Moldova, yeah. right? I love Moldova and I love Moldovan wines. Um, and actually, before I lived in Moldova, I did not like red wine. <gasps> I know. How come? It just wasn't my what favorite. What happened? <laughs> I know. But since I've lived in Moldova, red wine is one of my it's my favorite. I love it. I, I know. So Tiva is a new winery I've never heard of before. It's That's a, something new. It's a small brewery. I mean, a small, wine, a small winery. I've had too much wine. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's a good sign, though. And um, it's delicious. Their red wine was phenomenal. I think it was... Um, their uh, Rara Negra. Rara Negra. Yeah, it was delicious. It yeah. was phenomenal. Um, and we also love Fakari and Krikova and actually Salkutsa's white wine okay. is some of my favorite. Mm -hmm. So I'm tasting some really delicious wine from Radeci. Dino is here also from the same company. But Dino, I'm curious. If you would recommend top three wineries here, obviously not Radeci, what would those be? I would suggest for you to, to, to try from the big producers, which is Milesti, Mich and Krikova. And from the other hand, definitely you have to try the, the smaller producers. Yeah. That they have, they are putting all the time the accent on the quality, let's say. So, let's say Fautor and Timrus. The main industry in the country is the wine business, I would say. So basically, this is a holiday that everybody has to, to know about. And my background is the wine tasting. Now, if you want wine tasting, you have to pay a little bit extra when you're buying your tickets. But I knew that I could not even finish the 12 wines that I get with the wine tasting. So obviously, I declined. If you're new to wines and you want to try it and you know find out how to taste it the proper way, I would recommend the wine tastings for sure. Especially if they are delivered by a very renowned sommelier in Moldova. So I'm sure you'll find out a lot of interesting information. So guys, that's it. It's a hustling and bustling holiday with lots of people and lots of wine. I'm going to continue my wine tasting and uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.